Welcome Believers United in Living Dreams Build Alliance. I am so excited to share today's video with you and I wanted to give you a little encouraging message because that's what Build Alliance is here for. I hope to encourage and inspire other artists and craftsmen or craftspeople to use their gifts and talents um, as they were intended. God gave them to you for you to use them, not for you to sit on them and wait for the day that you retire. So hopefully you will start using your gifts and talents, finding out how to build your skill and creating a stream of income from your gifts and talents. As this channel progresses, I will share with you my success on various platforms. Right now I have an Etsy shop uh, and I am posting on Instagram and YouTube, what do you call it, uh, Facebook. I have a shop link to my Etsy shop on Facebook, but I haven't set up the Facebook page. But I'm also following other streams of income because my desire is to be able to create art for a living, but in the meantime, I have to pay bills. So I am a VIP kid teacher, and I'm about to start, I'm about to start teaching on OutSchool. I will show, share more about that with you in a separate video. But today, this is a prequel to a video that I shot to create an acrylic pour painting using an airbrush and two other techniques. So I have three techniques that I use to create an acrylic pour painting. I used a flip cup technique, I used a swipe technique, and I used a Dutch pour technique. And I used the these three techniques to create the sky Dutch pour technique, mountains uh, swipe technique, and water flip cup technique. And you will see this in the, pre the, the videos that followed this one. So what happened is I filmed the first video as a straight uh, session. And in that video, I just kept talking and the video turned out to be about an hour long. Warning, it's a long video because each technique requires its own section. So I split the techniques into three sections plus the intro. So when you visit video number, I guess I'll call that part two since I'm going to rename this, I'm gonna call this part one. This is part one, introduction. Part two will get into the technique of preparing the canvas and why I selected the cover colors and my decision-making process to determine what techniques to use to create what parts of the painting. And then in the second part, you will see the actual flip cup technique to create the water. And in the third video, you will see the actual technique to create the mountains using a swipe technique. And in the fourth video, you will see the acrylic uh, the Dutch pour technique to create the sky. And so follow along. I tried to tell you a little bit about the recipes that I use to create each type of technique or to perform each type of technique. But just as a disclaimer, the recipes will vary based on the type of paint that you use. So it's easy to tell you to do one part paint, two parts flow trawl, which is my pouring medium. Uh, but it's another thing to tell you to look for the consistency that you're going to want. The most important thing is going to be to find the consistency. So as you follow along in those videos, the videos that follow this one, uh, understand that you're looking more for the consistency than you are for the recipe. And you'll hear me talk more about that in the videos. So welcome. I'm excited to share first, um, this is part one, part two, part three, part four, and apparently part five. So bear with me. And as I get more comfortable in front of the camera, maybe I'll become more of a, what do you call it, when they can break it down and get the information out to you quickly. But until then, I love you, Build Alliance. Welcome and keep watching. I will see you soon.